And here's just another video to give you some sense of the scope of things that can head on down. This is a, the last kiln firing. It's predominantly sort of large pieces to give you some sense of the scale. Uh, sort of, so here's my hand, so hand sort of next to it. It's about 24, uh, 25 inches in diameter. And there's sort of a lot kind of like that, uh, just going along. Um, now, in terms of, you know, groupings, if you notice, there's a lot of sort of color themes or patterns, and uh, that's the way some things can be sort of grouped. Um, you know, there's, of course, the blue. Uh, there's uh, sort of certain sort of greeny colors like that. Um, there's no shortage of these. I make them compulsively. There's maybe about 20 or so of them. Um, and then there's actually a recent sort of stint of sort of these as sort of squiggly celadons. And these could actually you know, be put together in one small coherent grouping. Uh, for example, you know, these are just sort of here randomly. Uh, but if you notice, there's four or five sort of stylistically similar ones. And there may be about a dozen of these uh, like this that may just form a nice sort of you know, loose grouping you know, composition. Again, just uh, some ideas, nothing set in stone. They can easily also just be integrated or mixed in with groupings or the big wall or, or even just highlighted individually on the botanical paper. Uh, the scale of those, again, they're not, not too big. And again, transporting these, not too much of an issue. There's stable support sort of there, uh, sort of there, and they're tethered there. They'll transport fine on the foam packing.